friends this is Vali with Vali Art and I wanted to share with you my latest spread uh, in this case it's one that is really close to my heart uh, it's about my great grandparents and uh, many times you ask me how I come about uh, with uh, these spreads and sometimes it's just getting a small detail and uh, constructing a whole um, spread or a story um, around that little um, detail. In this case, um, how um, I started the spread was with these two pictures. They were sent to me by a dear cousin uh, in Italy and uh, he went to uh, the cemetery and um, he took pictures of uh, my great grandparents uh, from their headstone. Um, I knew about them but I never had um, seen them so um, these pictures were really really uh, a treasure because uh, I could put a face to the many stories I had uh, heard about them through my mom and my grandma um, so what I did is um, I um, tried to recreate um, how I imagined their house um, in Italy in Bulgari um, so I went ahead and I painted the entrance of the house uh, this entrance uh, was created with uh, watercolors and um, I uh, left the door open um, in purpose uh, on purpose so that um, it's kind of an invitation to get to know them and uh, their story of course it's not their real home but at least we have kind of um, an idea of uh, how uh, their house looked like and this key uh, it also has more or less a related meaning to this and it's kind of the key that opens uh, the story um, of my family um, when I created this spread I didn't know uh, the things that were uh, gonna come after um, this spread uh, came <laughs> to light uh, but um, the key opened many doors <laughs> and I will explain that later so um, on this side of the spread I decided to work with a crossed envelope so I cut an envelope in half and I uh, just attach it to the back of the spread and then here I'm going to create another spread and, and I'm going to cover this but this is how it works you open it like this and then like this and it gives you more space uh, to journal or include things so on the front here um, I added their picture and I put um, here uh, when they were born uh, my great-grandmother was born in 1881 and my great-grandfather in 1868 so uh, to give uh, like a vintage effect here and to cover also the white spaces of the envelope I used some gauze and what I did is I stained it with acrylic paint you only rub it um, in the gauze any color that you may like and you're gonna have uh, a colored gauze um, it takes a few minutes to dry and it gives like a vintage uh, aged look so on the back side of uh, the envelope the half envelope um, I created another pocket um, I like this paper because um, it has all the words that um, are included in this um, spread and then um, I added a map of Italy and I wanted to signal where this story took place, which is in the north of Italy, in the town of Bulgari. So um, the envelope uh, served three purposes. Um, it has two pockets and um, like a frame for the pictures. And then inside here, um, I did my journaling portion with all that I knew about my great-grandparents. And uh, 
what I knew about them was what my mom told me. So that was the first journaling portion. The second um, part of the envelope, I covered it with some bed clothing, old bed clothing that I had. Uh, you know that uh, women in Italy, when they get married, they have their bed clothing um, prepared and the handkerchiefs and um, the tablecloths and napkins. So um, I thought this would uh, fit uh, the purpose. And um, when you open this envelope, um, of course it goes the other way around, but it's, um, I created a pocket and this is one of the most typical drinks in Italy. And um, this is a press on uh, sticker uh, from the dollar store. So when you open this pocket and it's open to the side, it contains two things. This is um, another paper that I went on journaling. And these are questions that I have about my great grandparents. Like if they loved each other, how did they meet? Um, lots of questions that I'm not sure if uh, I will have an answer, but at least um, I put them here. And this is a vintage card from Italy. Um, it was sent by uh, a dear friend of mine and I love this card. Uh, it has beautiful tones and um, it's, it has nothing to do with my family, but of course uh, it's from Italy. So it is from uh, um, over 122 years, almost unbelievable. And um, a person sent this to um, someone uh, in United States and it's like a, a coupon uh, for you to go to um, an olive oil company and redeem a bottle of olive oil from Italy here in the United States. So very, very nice. And then um, when you open this here, um, I decided to um, write something, um, some facts um, about my great grandparents. Um, and I used magazines cutouts. Um, and this is more or less how I imagined um, Bulgari, the town where they lived. Of course, this is not Bulgari, but in my imagination in winter, it must look like this uh, through the stories that my mom told me. And I added to, uh, and I added here some goats because I know uh, they had uh, goats, they worked uh, their land and they had different animals but uh, my mom recalls mostly her time uh, taking care of uh, the goats so um, this is uh, how the spread looks and um, I wanted to share with you that um, I uh, when I finished the spread I shared it in a Facebook page from Italy that is not related to art. Uh, so um, when I shared it, the following morning, I had a message from Paris and uh, I um, didn't know anybody from there. And to my, to my surprise, the lady that uh, sent the message stated that Filippo was um, her great, great grandfather. So um, I was a little bit, um, surprised and maybe not believing at the first moment but then we started sharing names of our family and we realized that uh, we are um, second cousins uh, so um, we kept on talking and um, I, I found a great part of um, my family from um, the side of Filippo uh, that are uh, in France. So it was a very, very emotional um, 
uh, encounter. Um, I'm in touch now with two new cousins that I didn't know uh, that they existed and they knew a lot about Filippo. So I could um, kind of enlarge the family tree. Um, I'm working on it right now. And um, I, I got to know uh, a little bit more about their history and more members of the family from back in the day that um, I didn't know. So uh, this um, journaling uh, spread, it was a pleasure to make because it was a tribute, um, but it brought uh, along a lot of people in the family that um, I didn't know and stories. And um, at this time we are all in a WhatsApp uh, group and uh, we are uh, sharing stories and pictures and getting to know each other. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's very emotional. So um, I'm sharing this with you with the hopes that uh, you treasure those little um, memories that you have uh, from your family. I encourage you to just uh, journal or create a spread so that um, someday <laughs> someone in the future um, is going to relate to you. And uh, I hope you enjoy this story, this spread. Uh, if you like it, just uh, join the channel and we will see each other in the next spread. Bye.